The world's most powerful fusion reactor shut down without warning, not because of failure, but because of what it saw. And the data? No one could agree on what it meant. Not the AI, not the physicists, not even the machines meant to protect the reactor. This isn't a test run or a glitch. The experiment was shut down after something appeared in the instruments that changed everything. The shutdown nobody expected. JT-60SA, Japan's six-story fusion behemoth, was pushing boundaries when alarms triggered throughout the facility. What do we know? Official sources say, testing terminated for safety. But behind the scenes, something triggered full system lockdown. Neutron detectors inside the reactor suddenly registered unprecedented activity. These particles, born from successful fusion reactions, started appearing in patterns that defied prediction. The technical team froze, watching their monitors light up. The plasma itself began behaving strangely. Temperature and density fluctuations appeared that didn't match any known confinement mode in four decades of fusion research. Sensors showed energy containment doubling in microseconds. Imagine this. You're running the most advanced fusion machine ever built. You have teams monitoring every ion in the chamber. And then, your neutron readings spike, but they spike in a pattern you've never seen. That's not a bug. That's a moment you remember for life. When the Wendelstein 7X Stellarator in Germany achieved record plasma parameters in 2023, researchers celebrated. But what happened at JT-60SA made them hit the emergency shutdown. The question isn't just what they saw, but why it terrified them enough to kill the experiment instantly. A. I. Shutdown? Modern fusion reactors don't run on human reflexes anymore. Advanced AI systems now control plasma conditions millisecond by millisecond in reactors like Wendelstein, 7X, and SPARC. These systems make hundreds of adjustments per second to magnetic fields, plasma density, and heating systems. They're faster than any human operator could ever be. In this case, the AI safeguard system triggered the emergency shutdown autonomously. The plasma was extinguished in under 0.3 seconds. But here's the twist. No one knows why. The logs are inconsistent. Some show expected parameters, others show impossible readings that technicians call phantom data. The AI detected something in the reactor's behavior that its algorithms flagged as dangerous, something so unusual it couldn't be classified within normal operating parameters. Could it have detected a quantum anomaly, a threat to the containment field, or did it simply misinterpret a signal that humans might have recognized as harmless? Quick pause here. If you're fascinated by this kind of frontier science, hit subscribe. We dig deeper than anyone else, and the next part gets even weirder. Cold War Echoes. This isn't the first time a fusion reactor has been mysteriously shut down after seeing something unexpected. The pattern goes back decades. In the 1950s, Britain's ZETA fusion experiment claimed breakthrough results. Headlines worldwide announced fusion success. Then suddenly, all claims were retracted. The program was scaled back and eventually terminated. Similarly, America's Project Sherwood, a classified fusion program backed by military interests, produced promising results that were never fully disclosed to the public. Recently declassified documents show both programs encountered plasma phenomena they couldn't explain, with the physics of the time. What if this isn't the first time we've seen something in a fusion plasma that we weren't supposed to? The pattern is disturbing. Breakthroughs appear, get suppressed, then quietly forgotten. And what if what they saw wasn't just plasma, but a reaction that doesn't belong in known physics? Here's where it gets complicated. This wasn't just a shutdown. This was a full purge. Data locked, access restricted, teams separated. In science, that usually means one of two things. Either they made a massive discovery or something went terribly wrong. Something formed in the chamber. Inside reports from researchers close to the project hint at something extraordinary. Under extreme magnetic confinement, an exotic structure began forming within the plasma itself. We've seen self-organizing plasma knots before. The phenomenon is well documented in smaller fusion experiments, but never at this scale or complexity. The plasma temperature reached 120 million degrees Celsius, hotter than the core of the sun. 
At these temperatures, strange physics emerges. The fusion reactions may have generated unexpected muons, particles 207 times heavier than electrons. These particles shouldn't persist in a tokamak environment, yet multiple detectors registered their distinctive signatures simultaneously. Even more alarming, unexplained bursts of high-energy particles appeared that don't match standard deuterium-tritium fusion outputs. The energy spectrum was wrong. What many don't realize is that fusion reactors can act like miniature particle colliders, not in raw energy, but in creating unexpected side effects when plasmas reach certain densities and temperatures. The neutron flux suddenly jumped tenfold, then the gamma ray detectors spiked. Whatever it was, one sensor wasn't enough. Every system reacted. At that moment, everything in the room shifts, not just because of risk, but because you're now in uncharted territory. And when machines that are trained to protect your billion-dollar reactor hit the kill switch on their own, you listen. The Satellite Spike What makes this event truly extraordinary is that it wasn't just detected inside the facility. No AA radiation sensors and orbital satellites showed anomalies at exactly the same time as the shutdown. Weather and environmental monitoring satellites registered a brief but intense burst of high-energy particles directly above the fusion facility's location. These readings appeared in space weather records as an unexplained spike. When asked for comment, NOAA representatives declined to provide details. The timing is impossible to dismiss as coincidence. Whatever happened in that fusion chamber was powerful enough to be detected from orbit. This raises profound questions about containment. Did the reactor, even for a split second, generate a field or particle burst that interacted with the upper atmosphere? If fusion becomes unstable at this scale, do we risk radiating space? As we build larger reactors like ITER, 10 times bigger than any current tokamak, this question becomes more than theoretical. The potential implications for satellite communications, astronauts in orbit, and even space tourism are significant and largely unexplored. Societal and industrial pressure. Let's talk about what's really at stake. Fusion energy threatens trillion dollar fossil fuel markets and could reshape the entire global economy overnight. A single breakthrough reactor producing more energy than it consumes would crash energy stocks worldwide. Entire nations built on oil exports would face economic collapse. Was this shutdown also a delay tactic? A pause to reassess before disclosing a potentially market-disrupting result? The fusion landscape isn't just government labs anymore. Private competitors like Helion, TAE Technologies, and Zap Energy are racing toward commercial fusion with billions in venture capital. Helion's seventh generation reactor is aiming for electricity production by 2024. TAE Technologies has already achieved plasma temperatures over 75 million degrees with their Norman machine. What if national laboratories don't want to be upstaged by startups? What if maintaining government funding requires controlling the narrative around breakthrough moments? The data from the shutdown hasn't been published in any scientific journal. No press conferences, no technical briefings, just silence. And if they discovered something they didn't understand, would they ever make it public? This isn't science fiction. This is the world we live in now. Real discoveries, real secrecy, real consequences. And the bigger the breakthrough, the quieter it might become. What we know for sure. Let's separate speculation from confirmed facts. The JT-60SA reactor did unexpectedly shut down during an experimental run. This is confirmed by official statements from Japan's National Institutes for Quantum Science and Technology. The shutdown was not scheduled and interrupted a planned experimental campaign. Facility operators have acknowledged this wasn't part of normal operations. No technical fault or equipment failure has been disclosed as the cause. The official explanation remains safety protocols activated during testing. Multiple sources report unusual sensor patterns across different diagnostic systems. Neutron detectors, magnetic field sensors, and temperature probes all showed anomalous readings. The research team has maintained public silence about specific findings. However, internal documents show tests were suspended across multiple systems following the incident. 
operations at other major fusion facilities, including China's East Tokamak and Germany's Wendelstein 7X Stellarator, modified their own test protocols within weeks of the incident. What do you think they saw? Let us know in the comments before we reveal what's next. To understand the significance of this shutdown, we need to look at where a fusion stands today. ITER, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor in France, represents humanity's biggest fusion bet. Designed to be 10 times larger than any previous tokamak, it's now billions over budget and decades behind schedule. Originally planned to begin operations in 2016, ITER's first plasma has been delayed until at least 2025, with full power tests not expected until 2035. Meanwhile, the joint European Taurus jet in the UK recently concluded its 40-year run with a spectacular finale. In its final experiment, JET generated 69 megajoules of fusion energy in just five seconds, smashing its previous record set back in 1997. Germany's Wendelstein 7X Stellarator has achieved plasma performance comparable to the best tokamax, with superior stability. In June 2023, W7X announced a significant breakthrough in plasma parameters. China's East Tokamak, nicknamed the Artificial Sun, has pushed the boundaries of plasma duration. It maintained a 70 million degree plasma for over 17 minutes, an endurance record that shows how far we've come. Japan's JT-60SA, where our mysterious shutdown occurred, represents the cutting edge of plasma control technology. Its advanced superconducting magnets and sophisticated diagnostics were designed to bridge the gap between today's experiments and ITER's ambitious goals. Each machine has inched us closer to fusion's promise, unlimited clean energy that could power human civilization for millennia. We've been chasing fusion since the 1950s, but every time we get close, something stops us. This shutdown? Maybe it's just another step. Or maybe, just maybe, we already crossed the line into something new. Whether it was a breakthrough, a threat, or something we can't explain, this moment will be studied for years. The data from this shutdown could reveal patterns that change how we approach fusion entirely. Some physicists believe we're witnessing the early signs of new plasma physics, phenomena that only emerge at these extreme scales and temperatures. Others fear we may have inadvertently created conditions that produce unexpected particles or fields that our current theories can't explain. The fusion reactor shut down because it saw something, something no one expected, and now the world is waiting for answers. While official investigations continue behind closed doors, the questions remain. Did we glimpse our energy future or a warning about pushing boundaries we don't fully understand? If you want to know what they discover next, subscribe. We'll be watching the story no one else dares to tell.